All right, guys, so you know I have to hook you guys up with the top five best assault rifle loadouts in Warzone 2. So we're going to start right away, and I want to give you guys my personal favorite to start out with, which is the ISO Hemlock. This thing is insane, and I think you guys need to try it out. New DLC weapon, and everything you need is right here. This will give you a chance to screenshot it. I'm going to give you all the tunings and everything, but this is fantastic. The only thing that I possibly would change, and I don't even think that you actually can change it, um no you can't change it i was gonna say put that one suppressor on there but it's not on there so harbinger d20 for sound suppression bullet velocity damage range and recall smoothness uh increase the bullet velocity at 0.90 after that it doesn't help anymore and then the recall smoothness by 1.22 ounces after that it doesn't help anymore don't max it out it's no point put on the fielder t50 for damage range bullet velocity hip fire accuracy and recoil control Two in the damage range to uh, 0.21 inches. And the recoil steadiness at 0.15 pounds. Put on the aim op V4. Max out the far range. Put on 45 round mag. And then the 5.56 high velocity. Increase the bullet velocity by 6.10 GR. And then the damage range by 0.29 GS. And if you don't want to use that, you could actually put on the FTAC Ripper. And you'd probably be... Um, Better off for better recoil control, but I think this already has great recoil control. Show you guys how amazing this is. It literally takes very little effort to actually use. It's a very busted assault rifle that I highly recommend. So give it a try. I know you'll actually love it. Moving on, we are going to another long range weapon, which is the RPK. Now, technically, this isn't an assault rifle, but I wanted to put this in the category just because I know a lot of people like it and it's going to get nerfed in season three. So you might as well abuse it now. So, this actually has something I would personally change. I just don't have it unlocked. Um, it would be the ZLR Talon 5. This is something that if the other weapon actually had, I would put it on there. This thing is apparently the best suppressor overall. But, I do like the Polar Fire S. This works for me. So, sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. I increase the bullet velocity at 0.32 inches and the recoil smoothness by 0.32 ounces. Put on the Aim Op V4. Max out the far range. Put on the Demo X2 grip for recoil control and increase the recoil steadiness by 0.74 ounces. And then put on high velocity, max out the bullet velocity, increase the damage range by 0.43 Gs. This is the only one that, well, one of the only ones that actually has a purpose to maxing it out. And then the FTAC Ripper 56 for aiming out of stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. I increase the aiming out of stability at 0.21 inches and the recoil stabilization by 0.44 ounces. And check this thing out. Literally takes the least amount of effort out of any weapon I've used in this game. You don't even have to try. Like you guys see, it doesn't take much effort to actually use this one, uh, use this weapon, and it's just very easy to actually use. So I highly recommend out of any of the weapons, most likely long range. If you want just an easy time, no effort, just easy kills, then feel free to use this. But honestly, you're gonna feel some shame at how easy this weapon is to use. Next, we're gonna move on to the cast of 762 this weapon actually takes a little bit more effort but it hits very hard and is a fantastic weapon you also get more mobility so i put on the polar fire s for sound suppression bullet velocity damage range and recoil smoothness increase the bullet velocity by 0.81 inches and the recoil smoothness by 0.72 ounces put on the cast 10 to 584 millimeter barrel for damage range bullet velocity hip fire accuracy and recoil control I increased the damage range by 0.28 inches and the recoil steadiness by 0.26 pounds. Put on the aim out V4, max out the far range. Put on the demo X2 grip, increase the aiming out of stability by 0.15 inches and the recoil steadiness by 0.29 ounces. This helps with recoil control. And put on the 40 round mag. Now check this thing out. Like I said, it takes a little bit more effort, but you get much more mobility. And I still think it is rather easy to control. As you guys see, you also get easier reload. Well, much faster reload. So this is something that you want to give it a try i highly recommend it it's basically a more mobile rpk and honestly i think you will enjoy using it just because of the increased mobility increased recoil speed i think that it just works out the best and i actually do think it actually melts a bit quicker than the rpk next we're going to show you guys the tac 56 now the tac 56 is actually a beautiful weapon i actually love using it some people don't like using iron sight so if you don't like using iron sight you can just take off high velocity or if it says combat grip and then throw on the aim out before and then max out the far range but harbinger d20 for sound suppression bullet velocity damage range and recoil smoothness i increase the bullet velocity at 0.81 inches and the recoil smoothness by 0.54 ounces i also put on the 17.5 tundra pro barrel for a damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity, I increase the damage range by 0.21 inches and the recoil steadiness by 0.35 pounds. 
FSS combat grip for recoil control, increased aiming elastability at 0.35 inches, and the recoil steadiness with 0.55 ounces. 60 round mag, but if you want more mobility, aim down sight speed, movement, sprint to fire speed, all that, then just put on the 40 round. And then 5.56 high, high velocity, max out the bullet velocity and increase the damage range by 0.61 Gs. And just show you guys the outcome, this is actually amazing. You barely have to try, this is one of the only weapons they actually didn't nerf, so that's why it's as OP as it is. So please give this a try, like I said, very little effort, very easy to use, short, medium, and long range. It just absolutely melts the enemies. So I'm actually going to show you guys also the optic version because some people want to see the optic version and you know see how they actually fare with it. So either take off high velocity or take off SS FSS combat grip. So for this, we're just going to take off combat grip because why not? And we're going to put on the aim op v4, max it out, and show you guys the outcome. It's up to you whether you like it or not. Like I said, some people like a sight. It doesn't really matter in my opinion whether it has a sight or not. If you're somebody that needs a sight, then this may work well for you. If you don't need a sight, then the iron sight will work perfect for you. Next, I'm going to show you guys the M4. Now, M4 is incredible, and it's also one of the weapons that actually didn't get nerfed. So, please try this out before they nerf it. I don't think that this actually has... No, it, no, it doesn't. Okay, so it doesn't have an alternative. So, Harbinger, D, Harbinger D20 for sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. Increase the bullet velocity by 0.48 inches and the recoil smoothness by 0.50 ounces. Put on the high tower 20-inch barrel for bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy. Increase the damage range by 0.25 inches and the recoil steadiness by 0.24 pounds. Put on the Corio Laz 44V3. I did not tune it because I don't think it's necessary. It just helps with the aim down sight speed and aiming stability. Demo Precision Elite Factory increases aiming stability of recoil control, so I increase the aiming out stability by 1.08 inches and the aim down sight speed by negative 1.42 ounces. Put on a 60 round mag, and this is the outcome. Now check this out. Literally melts so fast. You don't need high velocity or anything. It just <laughs> it melts so quick. Like I don't see why you would need high velocity. And in my opinion, I feel like eventually this is gonna be meta again, like it was in Warzone 1. So give this build a chance. Keep it in your inventory just in case, you know, they do something detrimental to all the other builds because this is going to be a fantastic build. And like I said before, if you can't handle the iron sight, then just put on the, the AMOP V4. And if you want to substitute something, maybe substitute the Koryo Laz. Now, there is one more thing I actually wanted to show you guys, and I said this is the top five, but this is a bonus regardless. The TAC V, this is for people that want a little bit of a challenge. The tag V is something that will give you a challenge, but will reward you with high damage. So we start up Custovia DX90 for sound suppression, bullet velocity, recoil smoothness, and recoil control. Increase the bullet velocity of 0.84 inches and sound uh, recoil smoothness by 0.99 ounces. Put on the 18-inch precision six barrel for damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. Increase the damage range by 0.22 inches and the recoil steadiness by 0.39 pounds. Aim out before, max out the far range. Put on the 50-round drum and F tag River 56. Aiming out stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization increase. Now, increase the aiming out stability at 0.25 inches and the recoil stabilization by 0.80 ounces. So that's basically maxing it out. And this is the best thing for your bunk. Like, this is something that you can just aim at the, the body and it just does a whole lot of damage. As you guys see at long range, you get a little bit more recoil, but like I said, it does a whole lot of damage. So I think it is worth the trade off. You can actually get the shots off. It's just a laser, an absolute demon of a weapon. 